The navigation pane lists the drives and the folders. If you'll notice next to each one of these locations, there's an arrow. If you click on the arrow, it will expand that location. So I've clicked the arrow next to this PC, and now I'm going to go down to where it says Documents, and I'm going to click on the arrow next to Documents, and it has expanded the Documents folder to show all of the subfolders within that folder. A yellow folder is basically just a container for your files. It's a way to keep things organized. Think of a yellow folder like a physical storage cabinet that allows you to store and retrieve documents. It's just a way for us to stay organized on our computer. Note that some of the yellow folders have arrows next to them and some do not. The ones that have yellow arrows next to them are the ones that have subfolders within those folders. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and you'll see that I have subfolders within this cruise info folder. So for instance, if I want to see what's inside of hotel research, I can click one time on this folder and it shows the document that is saved within this folder. By the way, a, a subfolder is just a folder within another folder. Okay, now I'm going to go back up and I'm going to select this PC. And when I select this PC, you see arrangement of different things. Up at the top, we have folders such as the documents folder, the music folder, the video folder, picture folder, downloads, and your desktop. You have over here your drives and your devices. So this is where your C drive would be listed. This is where any flash drives would be listed. If you have um, your computer synced with your Google account and you have a Google Drive, you could have that listed in there. Your SD cards, those things are all listed under devices and drives. And then if you have a home network location, then that would be listed in this area.